We are proud to be leading the nation in vaccines for seniors, not even close in terms of the overall number. Obviously, we've had the big population, but even as the percentage of vaccines, we're way ahead in terms of focusing on our senior citizens. So that is our commitment. That is what we're going to get done as we get new vaccines in. It has been a bumpy road for the rollout in Florida, and the COVID-19 case numbers just keep climbing, with more than 50,000 confirmed cases in Pinellas County alone. And after a Clearwater teacher recently died from the virus, there's a new push to get teachers access to the vaccine sooner. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty is live at the school board administration building in Largo, where they voted today. Christine? The governor maintains that seniors remain the top priority for vaccinations, but just a few hours ago, here at the school administration building, school board members met and unanimously voted, asking the governor to make teachers a priority, too. It's been a little chaotic. Countryside High School senior Jaden Wildridge says school with COVID is tough, and he knows his teachers are at risk. They interact with students so often, uh, and you know how clean students tend to be. Tuesday, the Pinellas County School Board unanimously voted to send this letter to Governor Ron DeSantis to classify school district employees as essential workers, getting them on the priority list for the vaccine. Our teachers are frontline heroes who serve their students families and communities daily. To me, it's a no-brainer. The school, they are asking for the schools to be open. President of the Pinellas Classroom Teachers Association, Nancy Velarde, says they sent a petition to the governor, too. You can't say in one breath that it is essential to keep the schools open to stimulate the economy so parents can work and fill up those schools with all of the children and not vaccinate your, te your teachers. Wildridge says our future depends on this. Youth of the country are going to become the next frontline workers. The full letter that the school board members sent to the governor will be up on the WFLA app within just a few minutes. Now, as eight on your side, we did reach out to the governor as well to see if he planned to prioritize teachers, and we did not get a response.